Hi, my name is Ingrid and today I'm going to show you how to make a hat with ear flaps. So first things, for this video what you need to know how to do is to knit, to purl, and to cast on. Um, I'm not going to be showing you how to do that in depth, so if this is your first knitting project I would recommend looking up a video on YouTube, there are hundreds of them that will show you that very simply and clearly because I'm not going to do that. Um, the other thing is, so for this video I'm knitting on circular needles and the yarn I have is relatively chunky. I'm going to link needles that are a good size for you to use and yarn, the same yarn that I used, um, in the description. These are affiliate links, which means if you click on them and you buy the yarn and the needles from my link, I get a commission. So if you're going to buy new yarn and needles, if you could do that, that would be great. Um, and I would appreciate it. If you have a more sustainable way of buying yarn, do that. You know, go to a thrift store, find yarn there, um, take apart an old sweater, right? If you have a more sustainable option, obviously I recommend you do that. Um, so this hat is pretty good for beginners. Um, it's very simple. You can't really get much simpler than this if you don't want to make like a scarf or a headband. Um, it was so circular needles. You do need to know how to purl, which is basically the opposite of knitting, because for the ear flaps, we're not we're gonna be knit. We're going for the ear flaps, we're gonna knit them as if we were knitting with straight needles. So you do need to know how to purl for that. Um, size wise, this is good for beginners because you don't really need to be worried about what the size is. Um, typically people's heads are on the same size. This is like a regular sized hat, maybe a little bit on the smaller side. Um, if you have an extra large head, I'm going to tell you in the video, you should basically cast on 5 extra stitches and I'm going to tell you exactly how to do that once we get to that point in the video. Um, the other last thing is some of this music that's playing in the video is from my friend SoundCloud. So if you like it, please check it out, it's in the description. Um, not all the music is hers, but some of it is. And yeah, so if you're buying new yarn, please use my link, and, and that's about it. If you have any questions, please let me know. And if you have any suggestions of anything else you think that I should make a tutorial on, please let me know in the comments. Okay, so I'm going to start by making a slip knot um, with a relatively long tail. Longer than you would normally do for seven stitches so a long tail the longer longer than you think <laughs> and you're casting on seven stitches if you don't know how to cast on I, re I recommend looking up a, um, a video on YouTube and then cast on seven stitches once you have your seven stitches cast on you're gonna purl one row Once you've purled that row, you're going to flip the work back around and now you're going to knit one. You're going to pick up one from in between the two stitches. Um, if you want, you can also do the style of adding one where you knit the front and the back. Either one is fine. It doesn't really matter what you do. But I picked up one stitch, right? 
and now I'm going to knit it. And then I'm going to knit until the last two, last stitch, pick up the A stitch, and then knit the last stitch. I would recommend knitting in the front and the back of the second to last stitch. That's what I did later on. And for the other ear flap, I'm not entirely sure why I did the pickup style for this one. Um, but really, either one is fine. And the point is, you're increasing a stitch, two stitches every front side row. And then you're going to turn the work around and you're going to pull the next row. Um, and you're going to keep doing this until you have 15 stitches on your needle. So, total. Once you have 15 stitches, you're just going to knit until you have 3 inches total from the bottom of the ear flap all the way to the end of your knitting. There you can see now it measures 3 inches. Okay, so once you're done with that, that's one ear flap. Obviously you need two. so. You're basically going to cut your yarn and do exactly the same thing. Make a slip knot and cast on seven stitches. Make sure you have extra yarn on your slip knot. Um, and I'm just going to put on the needle. Also, make sure they're facing the same direction. Like, make sure when you're casting on um, the front and the back is the same. For both ear flaps. You could in theory just take one off of your needles and put it back on the other side but that makes things tricky. So you're gonna do the exact same thing for the second ear flap. Once you're done with that you're going to cast on 24 stitches. So I cut my yarn again. Um, I'm making sure that I have enough tail room. You don't need a lot of extra for this. You just need enough for your 24 stitches. Um, and so I'm casting on my 24 stitches. If you have an extra large head, I would cast on 27 stitches. Once they're cast on, you're going to knit the ear flap. So it should be right in front of you and you're just going to knit it like normal. Um, the stitches that you just cast on and the ear flap, there's going to be a little bit of a gap between them, but don't worry about that. So we'll f fix it later. So then your knitting should look like this. And now you are going to cast on 18 stitches. So, if you're doing the normal size, you should have 72 stitches in total. You should have the 18 plus the 24 plus the 15 from each ear flap, which is 30. So, you should have 72 in total. Again, I'm making a slip knot, I cut my yarn, and if you have an extra large head, you should cast on 20 stitches. And then your total stitches is going to be 77. Now, this is only if you have an extra large head. It should be stretchy. And um, keep in mind, my needles are a little bit small because my hat I'm making is should be on the smaller side. I'm making it for someone who has a smaller head. Okay. 
Once you're done with that, now you're just going to go straight into knitting the other ear flap. And then you're just going to straighten it, no purling, just keep knitting in the round for 5 inches total. So it should be a circle now, you shouldn't have any breaks between your ear flaps and your the added stitches. You should just keep knitting until you have 5 inches total. Not from the bottom of the ear flaps, from the um, bottom of the hat. So like this. Okay, so I'm tying a piece of yarn around my needle as a stitch marker. If you have a real stitch marker, use that instead. If not, you don't need to buy one. Just tie a different colored yarn around your needle. For this row, I'm knitting four stitches, and then I'm knitting two together. Um, so as you can see, I'm, I knit my four regular stitches. And now I'm just sticking my needle through two stitches at once. Wrapping the yarn around it once and pull it through both stitches at the same time and There you have decreased a stitch and so you're gonna keep this pattern for the entire room um, Just keep repeating it until you Reach the end of this row and you see the stitch marker again once you're done with that, for your next row, you're going to just knit. So I have two stitches left. Um, I'm just knitting them like regular. I'm passing my stitch counter marker, and now for the next row, I'm just knitting straight. Watch me as I fall into the sky. I'm feeling tears. For this row, I'm knitting three and then knitting two together. So, same thing as last two rows ago, but you're knitting three and then you're knitting two together. And then you're going to knit one row. The next row you're gonna knit two and then knit two together. And then next row you're just gonna knit. Next row you're gonna knit one, knit two together. And you're just gonna knit straight this row and for this you're gonna next row you're gonna knit two together so you're just gonna keep knitting two together nothing in between them so just every two stitches you're knitting together so you should end up with half the amount of stitches you had before at the end of this row Okay, so for this, you're just going to knit one row. Once you're done with that, you are going to cast off. Um, so for this, we're not going to cast off the normal way. What we're going to do instead is you're going to take a needle, whatever needle you can fit your thread into. I'm using a piece of wire because I couldn't find any of my embroidery needles. Um, but you can use a piece of wire or you can use your fingers or a needle is probably the best. So I put, I cut my thread, you know, with a decent tail and I attach a needle to it and I'm just picking the stitches off with my needle thing. Mm -hmm. 
As you can see, I'm taking my needle and I'm just putting it through the stitches. This will be easier if you're using a real needle, not wire. But you're just going to pick all these stitches up off of your needle. When you're done, it should look like this, and you're just going to pull it tight. And now your hat should look something like this. Um, you're not going to cut this thread, this string, because you're going to attach the top pom pom with it. Okay, so now I'm just kind of shoving the yarn through the other side to close those little gaps between the ear flaps and the front part. Um, if you have two strings there, you can just tie them together. If not, you can thread one of them through the other side. Just try to make the gaps a little bit tighter. So you can see I have my string there, and I'm using my needle to make the hole bigger and to kind of shove it through like that. And then I am tying it with itself. Like that. Okay, so for the pom poms, I'm just tracing a circular item. So you're going to have two separate pom pom sizes, one that are bigger and one that are smaller. This is the bigger size, so I have like a candle and I'm just tracing it on some cardboard. Okay, and you're going to need two of these circles, um, the same size, two of the same size, and so I'm just tracing another circle onto cardboard. And I have a quarter which I'm tracing to make a smaller circle within that circle. It really doesn't need to be exact. If you want to just estimate, it's totally fine. And I'm just cutting this out and then I'm gonna cut the circle out if there's like a ton of tutorials on YouTube of how to make pom-poms so if you somehow aren't liking my instructions or you don't understand them I you should just look it up um, you can also buy a pom-pom maker that seems a little bit excessive but if you already have one then use that so for this, I'm just cutting a little wedge and I'm cutting out the little circle. And I'm doing the same for the other side. Once you are done making a pom-pom with the bigger ones, which I'll show you how to do in a second, you're going to cut them out and then use the smaller insides to make the two smaller pom-poms. So I'm going to show you the two smaller ones because I forgot to film it with the bigger one. But um, at first you're going to make one bigger pom-pom and then you're going to cut around to get the smaller shape and make two pom-poms with the smaller shape. So to make them, I'm just taking my yarn and I'm wrapping it around. I'm going to wrap it around four times in total.
Once you're done with that, you are going to take your scissors and you're going to kind of make a split between the two pieces of cardboard and you're just going to snip. Um, you might want to like hold them in place so that the little strings don't fly away. If you lose a few of them, it's totally fine. And I'm just going to cut all the way around this pom-pom. Okay, so I'm going to take a piece of yarn, longer than you would think, um, and I'm going to kind of wrap it through the two pieces of cardboard, and I'm going to tie them where they meet, where that little gap is. So I'm going to tie one knot, and then I'm going to tie another knot to make sure it's nice and secure. And then you just take the cardboard off, you save it to make another one exactly the same and I'm going to trim it a little bit just to make it nicer shaped just like that and now you have your pom pom Okay, so to attach it to the ear flap, you should have that one long flap where you, from when you cast on your seven stitches, and I'm going to kind of make it go towards the middle. So I'm just picking up the yarn and looping it through where the middle is, just like this, so it's more centered. And now I'm going to take a piece of yarn that's around twice as long as that tail is and I'm going to put it through that same hole where you just put the yarn through. Okay, so I'm using my scissors to help me out. You can also use a needle. Um, so now you should have three strings that are roughly the same length. And now we're going to braid them. I think most people would know how to braid. If you don't know how to braid, there's many tutorials on it. When it's roughly the length that you want, make sure there's some tails at the bottom. Um, you're going to tie your pom-pom to it. So you should have two strings from your pom-pom, right? Um, and you're going to tie two of the braid pieces to one string. Just do a simple double knot. So like this, you're going to pull it nice and tight and tie it again. Okay, and then you're going to tie the remaining string with the other string from when you made the pom-pom. Try to keep track of the strings. It doesn't really matter, you just want to make sure everything's nice and secure. Right. 
Once you're done, you're just going to cut them around the same length as the little pom-pom pieces are, so it should just basically camouflage in the pom-pom pieces. Just like that. And there, that should be secure. You're going to do exactly the same thing on the other side. Okay, so we're going to attach the large or pom-pom to the top. So you should have one string left from the top part of your hat, and I'm just going to poke it through so it goes to the other side of our hat, the inside of our hat. Okay, so I'm going to take my needle um, and I'm going to put it in one of the strings attached to the large pom-pom. And then I'm going to go on one side of the hole and just poke it through. You don't need a needle, you could just poke it through using scissors or a pen or anything like that. So it should be like that and then you have the other side of the string and you're going to poke it through using a needle or scissors or a pen, pencil, onto the other side of the hole. Now it's through and we're going to go to the other side. There should be three strings and we're just going to tie them together. So I'm going to bunch two strings together and I'm going to tie them with the other string. and do a double knot to make sure it's nice and secure. And for this, either you can cut it or you can weave in the ends. I'm going to show you how to weave in the ends in a second. If you don't have a needle, you can also use like a crochet hook. Okay, so I'm going to take my needle again and I'm just going to weave in these ends. Um, you can just cut them off if you want, I just think it looks a little bit cleaner if you kind of weave them in. Because there's a decent amount of loose ends. They should all be pretty tight, so they shouldn't be able to like move or anything. And I'm just going to weave them through random spots on the inside of the hat. And then just cut it. And this is my friend Liv in the hat. Thanks for watching.